Hi everyone, this is the third time I make this video because both previous times somehow I clicked on slow motion so I don't think you'd understand anything. It is Saturday morning, Dave is still here helping Mitch. Um, Mitch had told me to stay here and relax and rest today and do a bike workout and the tires were fully flat. But the exciting part was he said he had to go because he was on the roof which means it's noon right now so they have definitely already finished the walls i know they found the trim pieces they were looking for last night and they have moved on to the roof so i can't i would lie if i didn't say i'm really excited to just drop by and see what they're doing and hopefully um you know kind of talk him into doing a different workout it is noon, so I'm just going to drop by there for a little while, see kind of what he had in mind in terms of a workout and see the progress. And I'm excited. And bring them lunch because uh, I have no doubt they brought nothing with them. In fact, I don't think they made breakfast today. I was wrong. They have not done the walk, which I don't know. It's a little surprising. I feel like Miss would have wanted to just get done with that. Uh, but also unsurprising because he likes to see the projects are going good and then he stops and this is an apps project often. So surprise, not surprise there. Uh, so what they seem like they're working on is we're putting these things in between the, the purlins so you can see between the reds. Uh, there are these like, they're kind of like metal but they're a little like flexible too. Well, not flexible, I guess. They're like very, very thin metal. And they're putting them across in between. It seems like they're pulling them all the way from the other side. So they, they've done all of them except for the last two, as you can see. Uh, I, I think this is what they've been working on, actually. I don't see anything else. They, they haven't put yeah, the garage door up or anything. Uh, so this must have taken them a while in the morning to just figure out what the best way to do it is but it's nice to have it done for the whole building now because even when Dave is not here I think it's going to be super helpful for me to have those done so I went and got them lunch like I, I said and I came over to this table and there's these weird paint things like no wording, nothing, just this shape. Like, you can't tell me this doesn't look super weird. We'll find out what it is. Okay, we just finished lunch and they're already back on the main lift. They have to pull the same metals, like those metal strips, uh, now going this direction. Dave and Miss have been having some slight issues being able to reach uh, to screw those. So we're trying the ladder method now. So on this side they were able to be on the inside. So they're able to reach with the main lift on that side because of the same pit. Uh, they had to go on the outside. And they have no levers to, to screw. So hopefully this is the hardest one because I think it should be fine with the rest because they'll be able to drive with the main lift inside the building. Okay, Mitt. And they've just finished putting the ah oh, come on the those metals across, and they're gonna go ahead and do the next step instead of go to the next uh, bay. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and try to maybe finish that. Maybe, I don't know if it, they're gonna roof it or what, but um, so that thing that's on the the bench right there is like a big papery tarp 
uh, which will go on top of those white metals but under the reds and on top of that we will be putting the insulation so we'll basically be holding the insulation um, from my high construction experience seems like a little too much you put things this way and this way and a tarp I would think that the insulation will be sitting on those or there will be a tarp and the insulation will be sitting on the tarp but maybe this is making the whole process actually easier paper tarp which is more like plastic actually is up it did take a little while because they have to go under the reds and over the whites and then the whites will get a little tangled so they just have to go slowly and pull i think also not knowing how like tough it is it's hard so they were trying to be pretty careful full disclosure I finished my workout and then ran to the car because the minute after I was done, the combination of cold and sweat was just not working for me. So it's been about 30 minutes I've been sitting in the car and I wanted to come and see uh, the progress. You might not be able to tell, but they've pulled it quite tight. Also, real quick, I didn't notice this earlier, but they're taping this edge so i believe this should have just made us waterproof hey guys i apologize about the loudness uh mitch and david have been out there for a long time i had to stop filming because the phone's gonna die and I won't be able to film the later part of the process. Uh, it seems like they're coming to the end of whatever they were doing. The, what it looks like from down here that they're doing is they're cutting uh, the white part, dust around the purlings, and then sticking it. Potentially sticking, potentially sealer, I'm not sure, but there is a brush involved. away uh, to food duty again so I'm going to the store the good news is Dave is staying we had some really amazing sunset colors tonight and Mitsu wanted me to get on the main lift to see them and see the view and my god it was amazing but oh my god it was scary uh, so I will not be the one helping with that I, I have pushed my limits when it comes to, to my fear of heights, but I just cannot. The, the main lift just sways so much. The nice thing is tomorrow is supposed to be very warm, which I'm excited about. I will say it is really nice to start having a roof. Uh, they put the white part on half of the first bay. Definitely didn't go as fast as I thought, but it's going. And I think the next ones will definitely be a little faster too because obviously there is a learning curve and that was the first one. They did say that once the white is up, it's kind of like a you need to finish that section kind of deal because if there's any snow or rain, the white will pull. 
Now, like I said a minute ago, there's gonna be no snow or rain. It's gonna be like 60 degrees tomorrow. It is five, so I think it's very likely they work for another two or even three hours. So they're either gonna try to actually put the insulation and the roof on the side they've already done. My second possibility is that they're gonna try to, to pull that white through the other side. So that's where we are. I don't know if we'll film anymore tonight just because they come back exhausted, they eat and they crash. I'll be filming again tomorrow and I'm excited to see what they'll get on in the next couple of hours. I can see that the, the process and the learning curve is, is moving and it's getting faster. So I'm just excited to get here again tomorrow morning and see how far they've gone.